So welcome to this um, overview of the required practical looking at temperature changes. Now this is one that you have um, done in school before and um, one that you'll spend some of your online session being um, just going through and being reminded of. But this is just a little key overview of what practical is, how you do it and what it's trying to show you. So having done it before, you remember that you have this setup of a polystyrene cup, um, polystyrene cup, thermometer, a lid, and placed in a beaker. Now, what happens is reactants are added into this polystyrene cup. Now, if this comes up in an exam question, it can be multiple different could be different types of reactants that they mentioned but the key thing to try and remember is that often this practical is referring to the reaction of an acid and base which in other words is a neutralization reaction Now, commonly, a lot of revision guides and examples of this practical refer to the reaction between the reaction between um, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Now. As part of this reaction, what you are looking for is a change in temperature, okay? Now, the key thing to remember is that this change in temperature gives an indication as to whether the reaction that's occurring is an endothermic or an exothermic reaction. And we'll come and remind ourselves what those are in a moment. But first thing we've always remembered is reactants are put into um, the beaker. And the key thing is also that sometimes in the setup of these practicals is that the quantities are varied. Over the course of the practical. So often you are changing the volume of the reactants to measure the temperature change. OK, so that's important to remember. And that means that the quantities of the reactants are, are independent variable of this practical. Now, obviously, how are you measuring this change in temperature? You're using a thermometer. So as you say, thermometer is measuring the change in temperature. And that's between the start and the end of the reaction. So if it's measuring a change in temperature, temperature is your dependent variable. So it's the thing that you are measuring in this practical, OK? Now, obviously, it's a measurement of change of temperature. And to try and control this and get as accurate a reading as possible, a couple of different things are used. Now, on top of the polystyrene cup, there is a lid placed. And it's important remember that the cup itself is made of polystyrene because both of these add insulation so they both add insulation and the purpose of insulating the reactants is to reduce the rate of energy transfer out of the cup because you want 
so it's reduce, so it's reducing energy transfer. Out of the cup because you want as much energy from the reaction to be contained in the reactant so you can get a more accurate reading of the change in temperature. The purpose of the insulation is to try and increase the accuracy of the temperature change. Try and increase the accuracy of the temperature change. Okay. Now, as well as that, the polystyrene cup is also placed into a beaker. Because this gives an area of trapped air. And in the same manner as the lid, the polystyrene cup, the trapped air also acts as insulation and decreases the rate of energy transfer out of the cup, meaning your results in terms of measuring the temperature change are more accurate. So when you are coming to look at this, what you are trying to do is you are trying to determine if the um, reaction is endothermic or exothermic. So if we bear that in mind, when we are talking about an exothermic reaction, we're talking about energy being given out to the surroundings. Whereas when we're talking about an endothermic reaction, we're talking about energy being taken in from the surroundings. And the change in temperature gives us a good measure of this as to whether additional energy has been given out or whether additional energy or whether energy has been taken in from the surroundings. And so how the change in temperature of the reactants varies tells us whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So if we come to our results having mixed our reactants, potentially our hydrochloric acid and our sodium hydroxide in different quantities and measure the temperature change, if the temperature change has gone up, that tells us that the reaction is exothermic because energy is being given out to the surroundings. Whereas if the reaction takes in energy, the temperature is going to go down, which means that the reaction is endothermic. Now, how do we measure this change in temperature? Very simple in the in terms of the methodology of the practical, as you recall, you take the temperature at the start before the reactant at the start when the reactants are added, and you take the temperature at the end of the reaction. And the change in temperature is simply those two values taken away. So the temperature at the end taken away from the temperature at the start. And that gives you your change in temperature. So if we have, um, for example, let's say we start a practical, this practical, and the reactants, when you mix them together at the very start, um, have a temperature of 10 degrees Celsius. And then at the end, they have a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius. 30 minus 10 equals 20 degrees Celsius. So from the start to the end, the temperature change has increased. So it's positive. 
which means that we've got our exothermic reaction. Whereas if it's endothermic, if we have um, a, let's say we have a um, experiment where the temperature at the start is, uh, let's say, hmm, trying to think of a number now. Um, temperature at the start is 10. Uh, whereas the temperature at the end is 6 degrees Celsius. So if we take them away, we end up with 6 minus 10 equals minus 4 degrees Celsius. So we've got a decrease. In temperature, which tells us that the reaction is endothermic. Good. So now you've got a brief overview of the temperature changes um, required practical, giving you um, the ability to tell whether the react whether the um, reaction between um, different reactants such as hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide is endothermic or exothermic based on the change in temperature from mixing them together.